Hi, my name is Scott Anuchko, and I'm going to be your teacher for the grade 9 and 10 photography programs that are going to be running this summer in Scotland, England, and Ireland. I'm really excited to be your teacher, which makes it very disappointing that I'm not able to make it out to the orientation evening tonight, um, but I live in Edmonton, Alberta, and it's a bit of a far drive. So what my cat, Merlin the Magician, and I decided to do is create a short little video to get to to get you to know me, put a face to my name, and figure out who I am as a teacher and what I'm going to be expecting. So um, I'm going to put Merlin down right here because uh, he's getting a little bit anxious from the 27 cuts before this one. And uh, we'll get set up somewhere else and, and talk a little bit more about myself. So during the regular school year, I work at uh, Spruce Grove Composite High School, which is a uh, small school outside of Edmonton of about a thousand students. And I am the Career and Technology Studies department head at the school there, as well as a full-time communication technology teacher. So I do a lot of photography, video, uh, graphic design, screen printing, and, and web design, and so on. Um, in addition to that, I also work part-time at the University of Alberta in helping pre-service teachers learn how to teach uh, communication technologies as a program um, as part of their education degrees. It all keeps me quite busy, but uh, in the summer I've been uh, working as a photography instructor with uh, Blythe Academy here and it's offered me a lot of really interesting opportunities and get to meet some students from across the country, which I, I quite enjoy. So I've been teaching for 16 years now and starting to become pretty comfortable in, in what I'm doing. And one of the things I'm very proud of is the learning environment that I've set up at Spruce Grove Composite High School. Um, I, I run a very student-directed program that's very flexible and offers uh, a number of different opportunities, both authentic and experiential, for students to take up and take part in. Um, and I think that my experience in photography and communication technology along with my teaching style is going to be a perfect fit for our upcoming course this summer. All right, welcome back. Uh, turns out when you're holding on to a cat for uh, several takes at a time, you get cat hair all over your clothes. So that's why we had to do a little bit of wardrobe change. And I thought I'd get some help from uh, one of my other pets here, Inspector Gadget. And Inspector Gadget is going to help us uh, learn a little bit about the curriculum that we're going to be taking a look at in this course. So, without further ado, um, I'll just really quickly overview some of the units that we're going to cover. The first thing we're going to take a look at is the history of photography. We're going to examine a few photographers. And then our next unit is going to be the elements and principles of design. And, and if you're not familiar with what the elements and principles of design are, they're just the building blocks and the things that make things look good. And so they're going to help us talk about stuff and uh, sound really smart about what we're talking about and it'll really help us look for um, ways that we can make our, our compositions and our pictures look really good. Then after that, we're gonna look at some compositional styles that photographers use and, and we're gonna try to employ those ourselves in the photos we take. And then we're gonna turn things around um, into our cameras and we're gonna take a look at the technical, the manual, manual controls in the camera and we're gonna look at um, how we can adjust the amount of light and we're gonna use those um, camera techniques to do some creative exposures and so on. And lastly, what we're gonna do after that is we're gonna take a look at um, the digital aspect of digital photography. And we're gonna take a look at using Photoshop and manipulating, uh, manipulating images, uh, making them look a little bit better, enhancing them and maybe doing some creative stuff with that. And that's pretty much the course that we're gonna we're gonna go through. So we got a lot to cover. We got a lot to cover. We got a lot to go through, and uh, it's gonna be awesome, right? Okay. So now that we've kind of gone over all the different things that we're gonna be covering in the course, I don't want you to worry too much if you don't have a lot of experience in photography, because remember. This course is designed to be a beginner's course or an intro course to photography. So I'm not really expecting you to have a lot of experience behind the camera or using the camera or necessarily even knowing how to use the particular camera that you're going to be bringing. Uh, those are things that we're going to be focusing on and learning in the course. So don't worry about that. Um, 
And if you happen to have a lot of photography experience already and feel like you, you know a lot about photography, this course is also going to be great for you because it's going to give you a lot of hands-on experience in sort of improving and honing the skills that you probably already have. And so regardless of whether you have a lot of experience in photography or um, whether you're just starting out, this class is going to have a lot of opportunities and a lot of really great things for you to learn. I truly believe that one of the best ways to learn about photography is to actually get behind the lens and take some pictures. I mean, you can read all the books you want or watch all the YouTube videos you want, but uh, it's not until you really have the camera in your hands that you can fully understand those concepts and those, those things and how they apply to the different situations that you find yourself in. Um, there's a lot of theory and technical aspects to taking pictures, but I really believe that photography is much about is a lot about doing and this course is going to give you so many opportunities to get out there and to just do to take pictures and that's really how we're going to improve our photography um, along the lines of learning from doing um, we also learn a lot from each other and this will be such a unique idea or a unique opportunity where you're going to be surrounded by a whole bunch of different people who are interested in and learning about the same things that you are and so you're really going to have to try to take advantage of um, the community that we're going to have around us here and sharing, showing and sharing the work you've done, discussing it with one another is one of the fastest ways you can learn and improve your photography. And so pay attention to what other people are doing and try to remember um, that you can learn a lot from helping out your peers and from seeing what your peers are doing. So don't be afraid to share and don't be afraid to ask questions and sort of help each other out because it's one of the best ways to best ways to learn okay so it's getting kind of late around here turns out that uh, shooting a 10 minute video takes a little more than 10 minutes to to do so keep that in mind next time you're planning out your next video project I just want to finish off really quick here by covering a few things on the uh, pre-departure checklist that you're gonna want to that I really want to emphasize uh, some of it will be the equipment that you're going to need. So perhaps one of the most important things that we're going to need to remember to bring is going to be a digital, a digital camera. And it doesn't have to be a DSLR camera uh, with a fancy lens, although that's not going to be a bad thing. But uh, the camera that you're going to have to bring will have to have uh, some exposure controls. So you're going to want to have a manual mode and some priority modes. If you have any questions about the type of camera that you're planning on bringing, please email me the name of the camera or the model number and I can definitely clear up any questions that you have and tell you if it's an appropriate camera and if it's going to be okay. The other thing we're going to want to need to have is going to be a laptop because we're going to do a lot of digital work and that's how we're going to hand in our assignments. As well as on that laptop, you're going to want to have a working version of Adobe Photoshop. It doesn't matter what version that you're working with. So if you have uh, some of the older versions like CS5, CS6, CS4, those will work just fine. But you're going to want to make sure that you have a copy that's been downloaded and working before you leave. Try not to, or try to avoid um, thinking you're going to download it at the hotel in Scotland because it's just too many variables. So many things could go wrong. It's going to be a lot easier if you make sure your, your version is working before you go, then you know that it's, it's all set and ready to go. Basically, we have two assignments that I'm going to want you to work on. The first one's going to be a photographer's blog. It's going to give you a little, or going to give me and the class a little bit of information about yourself as a photographer, as an artist, and it'll be a really good point of reference for how your photography has grown throughout the trip as we kind of progress through the course. And the second thing we're going to do is a pre-departure research assignment. And it's going to be a presentation that I'm going to ask you to look at two different photographers from a list that I'm going to provide you with. And you're going to do a little bit of uh, preliminary work on this presentation. We're going to review it with our peers when we get into Scotland and then we're going to finish it off and uh, that's going to be your first unit assignment so it's going to be important that you kind of put that work in ahead of time before we leave just so um, 
we don't have to spend as much time on that first little part. We can get into taking pictures really quickly on the trip here. So if you have any questions about uh, the pre-departure list or the pre-departure assignments or anything I've talked about in this video or most likely things that I did not talk about in this video, please don't be afraid to email me any questions that you have and I'll do my best to get back to you really fast and um, get you those answers. So it's been a pleasure um, I'm really sorry I wasn't able to make it out, but I do look very much forward to meeting you in the month of July and uh, can't wait. So we'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.